Boom. What's up, everybody? So today, what I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you how to create, just using one rectangle, how to create a beautiful cup. So let's get started. First of all, what I'm going to do is I already create the frame. So now I'm going to just create a rectangle. I created just square. Uh, then I'll duplicate this square. I'll put it to the bottom. I'll make it a little bit smaller. This one, I'll change the width of it. I'll duplicate this one again. I'll make it wider like this one. So maybe even bigger. And then I'm gonna make another copy, holding just drag. I make another copy of this rectangle. And I'll duplicate this one again, put on top, and we'll make it smaller. So what do we have here? We have rectangle. Then we have another rectangle, rectangle, rectangle here. So everyone is a rectangle. I duplicated these two rectangles here. Now what we're going to do is actually we'll, we'll increase the size of this square. Holding command, we can uh, change all the dots. Or just without holding anything, you can change all the dots. But when you click option, you can change the radius of one one particular dot. Then select now. I don't know where it okay. Once we selected one, you don't need to select it again. This we did the base. For this one, we will do the same actually. Holding option, we will change this item to this one. For this guy, we will change the radius only of the guy at the top right corner for this one top left corner uh bottom left corner we change that then we select these two guys go here subtract selection go here subtract selection boom now we have this like handlebars this one is in the middle let's make it a little bit smaller one, two, three, four, five. Too much. Yeah, like this. Amazing. And now what I'm going to do is I'll just change a little bit sizes of these items. Like I'll make it smaller, smaller here. So we'll have better radius here. Uh, for this one, I can do the same just a little bit. Let's make it closer to the item itself. As you can see, we just created rectangles and then changed the corner radius of different points. Uh, what I'm going to do as well, I'll put this layer on top of every other layer. By holding command option and arrow up, you can do that. Uh, and I'm going to change the color to something amazing like orange with 100% opacity and a little bit like darker orange from another side maybe i'll make it a little bit darker here and this one a little bit lighter like this one and then we'll change the direction of this maybe yeah it will be like this one now by holding not holding by clicking uh three buttons command option c and selecting another shape and pressing command option b we apply the same style here and we will do it for everything oh yeah here we need to select the whole shape itself not the inside part of it boom now we created this cup how to improve that is actually we can change a little bit um, shapes of it we can group it together and now we have the cup itself uh, also, let's create another rectangle, or maybe no, let's use just one rectangle, as, as I said. So I'll check, I'll take this guy, copy it by holding Option, make it smaller, then holding Option, uh, I'll make it, I'll change the width of it to the both sides. And now, as you can see, I created a kind of table or surface where this cup um, stands. So everything is amazing, uh, except one thing. What I'm going to change is actually 
this fruit radius. I really don't like it, that it's so sharp. And this one as well. I'm gonna make it a little bit sm uh, smoother. And I'll do here the same. What uh, I can do is actually, I can uh, do the same here, but it's too much time. So I'm gonna take this guy, duplicate it, flip horizontally and move to this side. The only thing that I need to do now is actually to change the um, gradient color direction. I'll just change the direction, the position of these two and boxes here. So now we have a cup. How we can improve that is actually we can also uh, add star from here. We can, of course, using just again box, we can create this star. Actually, let's do that. Why not? As I said, let's just use the most flexible um, shape in Figma Sketch. Adobe XD, Photoshop, Illustrator, anywhere. So you can do almost anything from just one rectangle. Uh, let's duplicate this guy again. Let's change it here. We'll set the radius to zero. Uh, then I press enter or return to go into the points edit mode. I'll add some dots here. Uh, once I click here, it created dot, but when I try to drag it, it disappears. So to change that, you need to select the dot that was already part of this shape, change its direction a little bit, move it back. Now you can use this dot. Amazing. So now we have this one, this guy here. We'll create another one here. Boom, chevron. Uh, we'll create another leg here. Another one on this side. One more dot here and one more dot here. So how we can, how we are gonna to create this stuff from, from all these dots? Uh, it's pretty simple. You'll change the position of this guy, this one. Maybe it won't be perfect because maybe I would use ruler to make it perfect here, but because this is just, um, this is not a real project. This is just where I show you how to use different shapes and different items here. Uh, so you can create this style. And to make it more realistic and beautiful, it's better to have kind of the same um, weight of each triangles here. And as you can see, currently legs are much bigger than this shape. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna change these legs to the bottom here. I'm gonna change the direction of these hands. So we have legs, hands, and head. So boom, we created the star. So now, uh, what I'm, I can change the color of the star to something like this one. Uh, I can select all the dots here and I can change the radius of all the dots to, for example, four. And now, as you can see, this star has these rounded corners on each side. Um, yeah, it's, as you can see, it's not perfect. I would use ruler if it was real project. Uh, also, these guys too close here. Um, this one can be higher as well. And these guys can be higher also. So now we have this star. In my opinion, it's pretty big. So I'll make this size smaller. And boom, we have a cup with a star. And we did it just in how much? I don't know, maybe five minutes uh, just using uh, rectangle, just one rectangle. All other rectangles we just duplicated from the first one. Uh, yeah, I selected not the shape itself. If you want to combine, like uh, to make from this subtract, not two shapes, but just one, you won't be able to change each of them after that. But still, you can combine it into Y sh shape by pressing Command E, Command E. Now it's just one shape, Command E here, done. So now we can move it a little bit to the bottom. Uh, and we have amazing illustration actually of the cup and this item here. What we can do with this illustration? We can change the size of the artboard, maybe not as big as this one. Let's move it a little bit here. Uh, we can move this guy like that. Let's create another frame inside of this frame. 
So our cup will be inside of this frame. So this frame will be inside of another frame. So yeah, it's funny, but it's life. <laughs> so for this rectangle, what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to create another rectangle inside of the frame. Uh, currently, it's outside of the frame. Let's put it inside of the frame. Now it's inside of the frame. For this rectangle, I will change the color, the background color to white. I will change the um, radius corners to 16 uh, or so. We'll see. And I'm going to add drop shadow. And for drop shadow, I'll use the numbers like 40, uh, 0, 4, X, because I don't want to, I wanted to put light right from the top. And for Y, we'll use 20, twice smaller than uh, the card itself. As you can see, because this card is really huge, it's bigger even than Instagram stories. So in this case, blue of 40 or uh, 24Y is too, is too small number. Uh, we can do two, two different things here. We can change the uh, blue number or um, Y number, or I can make smaller the composition itself. I'm going to make the composition itself smaller. I press K to make the changes, um, to make the changes, to scale actually the whole composition without losing all the numbers. Boom. So now we have much smaller card. For this card, I can set the yeah, numbers are not perfect, but again, this is just um, training session, kind of. So for rectangle, we will set radius to 20, even 40, because the image is still big. And for um, radius, I will use this with, let's use 40, 0, 20, 40, 0, 30. So yeah, I want to create this 60, 30. Yeah, amazing. Why I did that? I want to see the shadow at the top here, so I won't need to create additional uh, stroke. But at the same time, we created the shadow. The only thing that I don't like about this shadow is that it's black. It's black and it's too prominent. I'm going to make it even smoother by adding blue to like 100. Let's do 100. Why not? Yeah, it's much smoother. Let's put it down a little bit to 40. Uh, instead of black, let's change the color of the shadow to something else like close to uh, this one. Amazing. And now we'll change the opacity to 12%. Now we have this smooth, beautiful um, card. Let's change the size of our shape inside of it. So now I don't like this line at all. So let's remove it. Why not? And let's add title. For the title, uh, we have Bevas here, but I'm going to change it to Gilroy. I love Gilroy, especially when it's bald and it's black. So for this one, I will use something like uh, Awards. But because it's too similar to the, another company called Awards, I'm going to change it to 2W instead of 3. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, we have Awards. And as a description, probably will have, these are not real numbers because the card is too huge, but if I would create something real, then the size of this card would be maximum 300 pixels because the smallest size of the iPhone SE is 320. And also we need a margin a little bit. So 300 would be the smallest one, probably even 280. Uh, but in this case, we're just playing here. Instead of 100, uh, for the description, we will use 50, which is uh, twice smaller. And instead of bold, we'll use regular. Sometimes maybe Chris Daw can recommend you to use light, but because this is not the um, graphic, this is not graphic design, we are not creating poster, we're creating the just card here, your eye element. So I will use regular instead of light. And for the description, so now we can change actually the size of this item here. We'll put it in the middle of the card. And for the description, we'll write something like, uh, if you can't win real awards, like the 
awards, then why not? You can win award with one with two W's. Boom. As you can see here, line height of these elements are really difficult to read. We'll change it to one thirty percent, which is much easier. And again, because currently we have not so many text here, it's better for this text to use center alignment instead of um, left alignment. And now we have this beautiful card uh, with an illustration that we created just using one rectangle. Everything else we created from that rectangle. And we had this card. And in addition to that, because it's a frame, we can duplicate this frame and duplicate it again. Maybe we'll put it somewhere here. So now we have a carousel of items. Yeah, all of them are the same. So you can change maybe the text, the illustration itself. You can also, in addition to that, you can add something like um, our products. It can be just anything. And for our products, we will use at least 100 because uh, this is what we had here. have here. 100 will be a good number here. We'll use bold as well. Um, and we will put these cards here and our products here. So now you have this composition like a section. Let's imagine that this is a, can be a mobile app. Uh, we can use uh, where you can see this carousel of different awards. Uh, or you can change uh, the direction. So the hierarchy here is the most important stuff is carousel. So that's why this doesn't look so prominent in this title. But if you want to make stress on the section title itself, just make it bigger, maybe twice bigger. So now you have our products, which is will be uh, your main message for this carousel. Uh, this is our products. Um, then you show these products. In the previous case, we made a focus on the cards themselves. So this is more important than this one. So keep in mind that you, you are not right or wrong when you make uh, items bigger or small, when you change the hierarchy uh, level. Just uh, define what is most important on, on this screen, on this section. And that's basically it. You today, today, guys, you learned how to create this illustration. This illustration here, in my opinion, this is too dark. Let's make it lighter. Boom. So now you know how to create illustration just using one rectangle. Uh, also, you saw how we created cards and you learned a little bit about hierarchy and how to create shadows. I hope you liked it. Uh, I don't know. I, I liked it. Uh, it was lots of fun creating all this stuff. Also, we can play a little bit here and change the uh, feel from the black one to something a little bit gray. Now you can see that it's much, um, much better. I know that this text is unreal and it doesn't make sense at all. But still, you can see how beautiful it is. You can improve it even more by changing these stars to different colors. Maybe this is not the perfect color for, for this particular color of the cup, but at least you know that you can do that. You can change it to this one, amazing. And we'll create another star here and we'll make it all even smaller. And for this one, we'll use Boom. Bam, now it's more like celebration of something. So thank you guys for watching this video. Um, if you like it, just like it. Uh, if you want to subscribe to my channel, subscribe to it. I'm going to share with you much more uh, interesting and easy to use stuff. Um, I'll provide more tutorials. I'll provide more information about soft UI as well. And my next video is going to be about why I decided to call uh, to call this element soft UI actually, because I haven't seen that anyone else called it soft UI before me, and I would be happy to share it with you. So see you in the next video. Have a great day.
and enjoy your life. Bye.